Now, this is one for you. For all of you people out there who love going to the range, love hitting balls, you kind of grind it two, three times a week in the range, hitting it fantastic, flushing it, might have, you know, top tracer or whatever you've got down there, hitting it great, get on the golf course and guess what? You don't get the same results. Maybe driver's the one that you do hit, which can be similar. Why is that? You know, people ask the question, I'll hit it great on the range. Had this especially after lockdown. Hit it great in the nets at home. Got on a golf course and suddenly they kind of felt like the wheels fell off and they couldn't feel their swing. Really simple this. Flat lie, undulating lies of a golf course. Guess what happens? The receptors in the feet have to work differently. So the one thing I recommend people do is actually practice being slightly out of position. You know, if you're working on this lovely kind of, you know, you're working on a set position on the golf and you're trying to get it for a zone, work slightly out those perimeters and having to find the spot again because when you're on a downhill lie or the balls above your feet guess what it's it works differently the forces on the body are different could really go deep on this if we wanted to but it's as simple as that the club reacts in a different way the gravitational force on the club and the body are different because the ball's in a different spot in relationship to the body and the geometry of how you stand to it so guess what practice being out of position not massively unless you play some extreme lies on a golf course but you have to learn to be able to refine the positions you'll find the best players in the world really understand where their club is where their body is in the motion as they're going through the swing and can make these minute adjustments you know in you know milliseconds to hit good quality golf shots or to save shots when they're out of position but for all you go to the range, love hitting balls in the range, try making a few swings being out of position. Get the club a little bit more in front, get the club a little bit more behind. Go down the grip, go up the grip, make some little changes, kind of feel like your weight's a little bit back more because you're on a slope. Try and create these different things. Ideally, if you can, get out on grass and play from the different lies because that's going to be more real. But it's also why being on the golf course and playing on a golf course is real practice. And think of it like this, if you play on the golf course, what you're really doing is a dress rehearsal for your next round. So practice on the golf courses could say the number one thing, golf courses hate it. Yes, I do know. Don't say Ben said it was okay, because most of them will say it's not. But just try your couple of shots when you're out, put it in a different spot, see how it feels different. But ultimately, golf is played on a golf course, not a driving range. Be very conscious you don't become great on the range if you want to play better golf. But it's an important part of mechanics. But just try being a little bit out of position and you're really going to find a difference when you get out and play.